Uh, Natalie and Mark, it's really nice to meet you guys virtually. And it feels- sure, Let me interrupt you for just a minute. I'm sorry, um, Emmanuel. Um, I believe we are recording the, you are recording on your end? Uh, I, I, if I need to, yeah. But if you guys are recording, that's fine too. Yo estoy grabando, uh, Victor. I, I think we're recording. Okay, just, uh, all right. Do me a favor and start all over again. I apologize for the convenience. No, no and worries. It's all right. Just uh, let them know when they get speech so they can, they can go. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start. I'm recording right now. You have seven minutes for the interview and go. Thank you. Uh, Natalie and Mark. Uh, it's really nice to virtually meet you. It seems so uh, uh, related to the film, obviously, yeah. <laughs> language lessons. Uh, how, are, how are both of you doing today? All right. Thank you. How are you? All right. How are you? I'm great. Uh, I'm very excited. Natalie, congratulations. Also, on Plan B. Got to talk to some of the stars uh, for, for your other movie that over at Hulu. Mark, loved you in uh, uh, the, the morning show. So having you both together here is, is actually very exciting for me. Um, language lessons, where did that idea come from and how did you guys both come together for it? Uh, Natalie, we'll start with you. Um, actually, it's, it's Mark that came up with the idea. So Mark, do you want to do you want to okay. explain how that happened? Sure. Yeah, I was, uh, I was very bored in the middle of the pandemic <laughs> um, and uh, wanted to figure out how to stay creative and make a film, but was feeling frustrated as to how to do that while living inside of my home and not being able to leave. Um, and I, I was taking uh, online Spanish lessons to sort of brush up on my oh, Spanish. Yeah. And, and I found something interesting happen with uh, myself and my teacher, which is that the we were connecting more deeply than I anticipated over this sort of 2D video connection because you know we weren't good at small talk. So we just started going deep. Um, and I thought, well, that's interesting. Um, and so I called Natalie and I said, hey, you know, I think there could be a movie here about these two people kind of um, connecting unexpectedly. Um, and that was about it. And um, luckily she was um, just had production paused on her movie Plan B because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we just kind of jumped off a cliff and, and, and started, started doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, There's the one thing I really want to point out about the film that I love. And, and I think that is, it's, it's the, the fact that you guys are connected as platonic friends. And I just don't think we see that enough. Yeah. And, and um, I, I really appreciate that. Natalie, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, it's funny that like, I don't think, I mean, that was definitely an intention, but the intention was, was not, we haven't seen this before. Let's make it like, I don't think we mm -hmm. even realized that it was as rare as it is until after we made it and and um, people started commenting on that. I mean, we, we knew that we wanted them to be just friends, but I guess, I mean, I think Mark and I both share this and that we, a, a lot of our closest relationships are friends. And, and, um, and so I, I find them just to be just as compelling as the, as romantic relationships, those stories, or even more so because the steps aren't as, as, clearly laid out for you like you kind of know when you tell a, a you know a person you're dating i love you you kind of know how long it's been but like when do you tell a new friend that when do you you know <laughs> when do you when is it not weird anymore what how, what are the steps you cross into like all right we're good friends and now we're really good friends and now i'm leaning on you for real real life stuff you know and um and i you know that that's really interesting and i loved that it was actually Mark's idea to, to make it a point to make that happen. And I, and I loved it from the beginning, but we, we actually didn't intend for it to be as, you know, new as it, as it is. Uh, so I'm happy about that. It's, it's good. Mark, Mark, one of the things that I, that I really liked about it, there's, this, there's one specific scene where you're expressing yourself, how you're feeling um, in the mornings, how, how the grief that you're feeling and, and you're trying to gather your words in Spanish. And it, and it just, and it, and it hit me emotionally just because you're not only gathering your thoughts, but you're gathering your words in a different language, mm. giving you extra time to think about it and really, you know, give weight to what you're saying, because you, you got to look for the right words. Uh, I thought that was so smart because you're, you're, you're kind of struggling to, to get it, put it all together. But at the same time, you want to express yourself. Can you talk about that? Well, we love the idea from the front of this film um, that, you know, there would be lots of barriers for the for the connection you know as you can see there's a big class difference you can see they live in different countries and then obviously the language barrier is a really obvious one um 
uh, but you know, I have found in my own personal life that um, over intellectualizing is my enemy um, and using a lot of words um, to hide behind things um, has just basically done nothing but diminish my connections and intimacy with people. Um, and so I think breaking it down um, between the two of them and allowing there to be just less fodder for them to hide behind was a nice way um, to get to sort of the rawness between them. Um, and we also like the idea that um, they would make some mistakes here and there. And, and, and you want to choose those words <laughs> delicately, but you'd kind of, you'd screw up some to comedic effect, but some to, you know, uh, you want to use the right word when you're in a delicate emotional situation. If you don't get it right, it can, it can kind of go wrong. And that, that was interesting to us as well. Yeah. yeah they're, they're, I, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say in hearing Mark talk about that, I, 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 I really liked, uh, you know, the choice that Mark made, um, which is that, that when things start to get really emotional in the movie, Cariño tries to connect with him in English because that's his language. And she tries to, to, to speak as clearly and as, uh, you know, as, as directly as possible. And he only answers her in Spanish uh, for a lot, a lot of the time. Um, which as open as the the mark character is most of the time that's that's the one wall of like i i can't respond to you in my native language or i'll break down <laughs> this is the only way that i can that i can actually uh communicate with you otherwise it's it's too hard so it was this like not only was it a wall but it was a tool to be able to to communicate these um these real real feelings and i thought that that was like just so interesting on on Mark's behalf as a as a writer and as an as an artist, but also like uh, on the on the character behalf of of um, Adam, you know. Actually, that's a really good point you bring up because it, you, like you're saying it's keeping his mind busy. So so right. in, in a sense, right. it, it's almost uh, it, it's helping him helping him cope, helping him distract him in a way. So that yeah, very brilliantly done. Was was there anything behind her her name, Cariño? Because every every time I hear Adam say like "Hola, Cariño," it just kind of brings a little bubbly smile to my face. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I I actually don't know where that came from for me. I mean, the character's got name Caridad. Um, I, I named her after a friend of mine who had just died of COVID, um, and uh, and it. it I just, I, I mean, she was in my brain all the time. So I wanted, I don't know, I, that was the name that came to me. But I think saying it all the time uh, would have been a little bit harder. And, and I also I also thought it was so, um, it could be cool to have this character that, that was in some ways kind of cold and in some ways kind of like uh, didn't let you get too close to her, but that had this this nickname that was kind of the opposite of that, that is a nickname you only give to someone when you're really close to them and when you're really, uh, when they, when you really love them, which I, I, to me was like, you know, when I think about it, I think the reasons why is like, uh, and only maybe Spanish speakers would know this, but uh, it, it makes it feel like somebody in her life was very, very close to her in order for that to have be her name that she that she gives out to people and maybe she doesn't have that anymore and and i and i liked the idea of like this uh having this remnant of closeness that no longer represents you but it's your name um i liked that idea emmanuel i think you froze are you there i'm here sorry sorry about that for us for a second. Uh, Natalie and Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for this wonderful film.